Hey guys, hello and welcome to Speedy Medical. In this video, we are going to take on the cancers which arise from the thyroid gland. This will be a basic introductory video in which we will talk about the various cell types which are found inside the thyroid gland and what are the various types of carcinomas or neoplasms which can arise from those cells. So without wasting the time, let's take on this video. Now as you already know that the thyroid gland it consists of two lobes and these two lobes they are united by isthmus. Now if we talk about these lobes, both of these lobes they will contain the basic functional unit of thyroid gland which are none other than the follicles. And you know that these follicles are basically oval structures and these follicles they are lined by specialized cells which are called as follicular cells. And inside the follicles within the lumen there is something which is called as colloid and this colloid will contain the thyroid hormones and from this colloid these hormones they will be released into the circulation. Now within the two follicles there are specialized cells which are called as the parafollicular cells. Now look, as these are the two follicles, these cells, they are lining between the follicles. So they are called as parafollicular cells, which means in vicinity of the follicles. Now, the function of these parafollicular cells is to secrete a hormone which is called as calcitonin. So what is the function of calcitonin? It is a hormone which will play a role in the homeostasis of calcium and it will basically decrease the calcium in the blood and it will increase the deposition of calcium over the bones. So this is the basic function of calcitonin and these are the two cell types which are found inside the thyroid gland. So the basic neoplastic lesions they will also arise from these two cell types. Now let's look at what are the various neoplastic lesions which will arise from these cells. Now look as I already told you the cells they are of two types one are the follicular cells and the second type is the parafollicular cell. Now the tumors they can arise from these follicular cells and the tumors they can arise from these parafollicular cells. Now if the lesion arises from follicular cell then the lesion may be benign or it may be malignant. It is a basic concept that a lesion can be of two types. It can be benign or it can be malignant. Now, if the lesion is arising from the follicular cells and it is a benign one, then it is called as follicular adenoma. While the lesions which are malignant and these malignant lesions, they can be of two types. Either they can be differentiated, which means that the cells are differentiated and they are recognizable or they can be undifferentiated, which means that the cells are not differentiated into any cell type and they are just bizarre looking cell. So they can be undifferentiated lesion. Among the differentiated lesions, we have two types of cancers. One is the follicular carcinoma and the other one is the papillary carcinoma. And among the undifferentiated lesions, we have the anaplastic carcinoma. So these are the basic lesions which are arising from the follicular cells and which are actually malignant, which means that they have a tendency or a potential to spread to other places from the thyroid gland. So again, we have the parafollicular cells or the C cells. Now, from the parafollicular cell or the C cell, a specialized kind of cancer will arise, which is obviously a malignant tumor, and this is called as the medullary carcinoma of the thyroid. So, this is the medullary carcinoma of thyroid. So, these are the basic type of cancers which can arise from the thyroid gland. And again, this chart is very, very important in which you can have the whole idea. Like if the tumor is arising from the follicular cell, you have to think whether the tumor is a benign tumor or it is a malignant tumor. If it is a benign tumor, then it is called as follicular adenoma. Now, if it is a malignant tumor, then you have to think whether it is differentiated type or undifferentiated type because in differentiated type we can have two types of differentiations we can have follicular carcinoma we can have papillary carcinoma both of these have different features and among the undifferentiated type we have anaplastic carcinoma now the tumors which arise from the parafollicular cell 
or the C cells they are always malignant and these are called as the medullary carcinoma of the thyroid so these are the basic cell types and the basic type of tumors which can arise from the thyroid gland thank you so much for watching this video in the next video we'll take on the papillary carcinoma and the follicular carcinoma of the thyroid